Our plant for the production of pharmaceutical powders in Krasnodar has been operating in the pharmaceutical market for more than 10 years. We use various pharmaceutical equipment that meets the requirements and standards of GMP for production, a unit for dehydration of aqueous solutions and extracts in a fluidized bed apparatus, rotary tablet machines, an automatic line for packaging tablets in plastic film, and foil and other high-tech machines and apparatuses. Last year our enterprise started producing vitamins in capsules. We plan to carry out the filling of capsules into brown plastic bottles of 70 milliliters. This procedure required the purchase of additional equipment, an automatic machine for filling, and subsequent screwing with plastic caps. Screwing the caps is a technological process of capping pharmaceutical products after they have been placed in individual packages. Since I have already chosen many different machines for our company, I had a little experience in the selection, and I still have contacts of some reliable equipment manufacturers. I started contacting the manufacturers by telephone, and asked whether they could produce a machine for filling bottles. My main criteria were that the machine had to have a throughput of at least 8,000 bottles per hour. It had to be self-running, had to have a membrane welded in addition to the screw operation, and we planned to insert a silica gel sachet into each bottle. At first I contacted a company from Germany, which offered me automatic filling and screwing equipment, but they specified that the whole process of delivery, customs clearance and installation of the equipment was not included in the price. The delivery could have been delayed and I declined. Then I contacted the company from Russia. She said that they do not manufacture this type of machine, but if we can wait, they are willing to design and manufacture the machine, but it will not be until next year. I was not prepared to wait that long. I had no luck finding a manufacturer for the bottle filling machine, so I decided to take a different route and consult with professionals who work in the pharmaceutical equipment supply industry and maybe suggest another version of the machine. I searched on the internet for an intermediary from Russia because I once had a bad experience with a Chinese intermediary supplying equipment when they brought us a line for packaging powder, but there were no installation documents or technical passport. It took us a long time to set up the line, we consulted with the manufacturers on the phone, although they were reluctant to talk to us. I chose three vendors online, I looked at the firm's time in the pharmaceutical supply market, the company's website, and the machine's delivery terms as criteria. All the companies I called to make sure of the professionalism of their managers. A specialist from one company said to wait for five minutes, but she never listened to me. I didn't like such attitude to the customer. The manager of another company from Kaliningrad talked to me politely, asked questions about the necessary performance equipment, the desired production time. Three days later I got 10 variants of different machines for filling plastic bottles from them, and an offer to make a choice by myself. I realized that they did not have a professional approach, and they would not help me in my search for equipment. The next step was loading a silica gel bag into the bottle. Photocells mounted on the transporter detected the presence of the bottle. One stream of bottles is filled from one hopper, the second from another. The capsule dispensing process is carried out under vibration in accordance with the set dose. The bottles are capped with caps using rotating heads, and then the membrane is welded to the neck of the plastic cap using an induction machine. The equipment is automated, high-tech, and the work area is covered by plastic shields. I was satisfied with the bottle filling line offered and supplied by a specialist from Moscow. The competent advice saved me time and helped me to avoid mistakes I might have made if I had chosen the line myself. It is hard to find professionals in the equipment supply business. I am very glad that in the end, I was lucky to meet such a person.